Spend less on going out to eat, getting your oil changed, and so much more at the Big Deals online store. Head to RadioMankato.com and click on Big Deals. Start saving today, whether it's 10, 20, even 50% off, because these savings really are a big deal. Until right now, but you want to order wings from B-Dubs, and you want all 24 sauces and seasonings, like original buffalo or honey barbecue or Asian zing, all for takeout or delivery. Buffalo Wild Wings. You're not just one of thousands. You're not just a face in the crowd. You are unique. You're a name. You're a talent. You are an individual. Here, you're more than a student. Here, you're a friend. At Bethany, you are anything you set your mind to. A place where teachers know your name and friendships last a lifetime. Let Bethany Lutheran College become your family.
fight or flight. Everyone's wired to be one or the other. If you can't get away, could you get out of a situation? Learn to defend yourself with Krav Maga training at Southern Minnesota Martial Arts. The only Alpha Krav Maga certified instructors in Southern Minnesota. Krav Maga is self-defense. Find out more at Southern Minnesota Martial Arts, located on Commerce Drive behind Subway, North Mankato, or go online at smma.rocks. Southern Minnesota Martial Arts is a healthy environment, operating with current COVID-19 sanitation and distancing standards and guidelines. So I first hit Challenger when I was about 14. Some years later, we started an esports club here at YZ, and we won the HSEL National Championship during the winter. This inevitably led me to Bethany, where I'm going to accomplish greater things. I thought it was time for a change. Uh, my school just wasn't satisfying me anymore. And this year, I decided to come to Bethany to play on their esports team. I decided to come to Bethany because of the organization and its foundation. I just thought it was a really great place when I went there. Uh, everybody was really sociable, was really, uh, easy going with uh, the team. and. It seemed like everybody wanted to work, work hard to achieve the same goal. So Bethany, the biggest selling point for me was the teammates actually. And as well as the school, you know, it's actually my first Christian college. You can really feel that, that sense of community in, in, in the school. And uh, you know, I think that this is going to be a fun year for us. My favorite things about the program is what the community and sort of like a family that we've built ever since the beginning of last year. On top of that, like everyone that's managing the team and like helping us with our goals is very down to earth and they're looking out for the best in our own wishes. So the program is nice. My favorite thing about the program is definitely the esports room. We have the best computers I've ever played, and uh, the atmosphere, yes, yeah, it's pretty nice as well. Everyone's just so excited to be there. I'm proud of everyone who's a part of the program, for sure. The team atmosphere. Loving, it's it's great. It's very extremely motivating. Um, whenever you step your foot into the room, you just want to push your hardest because everybody has that great mentality and the attitude that you know. No matter what, you just got to push your hardest because it's a fun atmosphere, and you can always fall back to Bethany Esports being a loving team. I'm a challenger jungler who has been playing in the amateur scene for the past couple years. Uh, and I really wanted to finish up my education and I found a fortunate opportunity inside of Minnesota where I'm from uh, at Bethany Lutheran College. I think that they have a program that competes with the, the best of the best and I truly think with the roster that they've had, uh, adding me to it could really be a championship caliber team. Uh, hopefully in this next year we have the ability to take things to the next level and I think that with all of us together we have the ability to show League of Legends and in the world what we really have to offer. Spend less on going out to eat, getting your oil changed, and so much more at the Big Deals online store. Head to RadioMankato.com and click on Big Deals. Start saving today, whether it's 10, 20, even 50% off, because these savings really are a big deal. You didn't know until right now, but you want to order wings from B-Dubs, and you want all 24 sauces and seasonings, like original buffalo or honey barbecue or Asian zing, all for takeout or delivery. Buffalo Wild Wings. Rawr!
fight or flight. Everyone's wired to be one or the other. If you can't get away, could you get out of a situation? Learn to defend yourself with Krav Maga training at Southern Minnesota Martial Arts. The only Alpha Krav Maga certified instructors in Southern Minnesota. Krav Maga is self-defense. Find out more at Southern Minnesota Martial Arts, located on Commerce Drive behind Subway, North Mankato, or go online at smma.rocks. Southern Minnesota Martial Arts is a healthy environment, operating with current COVID-19 sanitation and distancing standards and guidelines. Hello, and welcome to the Bud Light pregame show of Bethany Esports Productions. Whether you're celebrating a squad win with friends or looking to cheer on your favorite gamer during tonight's presentation, Bud Light is a proud sponsor of Bethany Esports in Mankato, Minnesota. Uh, tonight on the pregame show, we'll be discussing three things. Uh, first off, what is Bethany College in Mankato, Minnesota? Uh, last week, we talked on what their esports program is like and showed the season League of Legends intro video. Um, secondly, we'll be reviewing last week's game against the University of Minnesota. And thirdly, we'll be previewing tonight's match against Grandview University in Des Moines, Iowa. First off, what is Bethany College, or where is Bethany College, and uh, what's it all about? Uh, Bethany Lutheran College is a uh, college in Mankato, Minnesota, uh, about an hour and a half south of the Twin Cities. Um, it is a small, private uh, Christian college where we specialize in um, relationship with students. Uh, we really strive to build personal mentoring relationship with students and uh, if you talk to any of our current students or alums, uh, they'll all say that was a top priority of all faculty and staff across um, uh, all four years or however many years they went to school here. Um, variety of majors, some of our newer up-and-coming majors are computer science, um, engineering and nursing as well as we have a strong media arts program that helps put this production on every single week as well as um, hockey productions for the state school across town that is a division one hockey school 
um, to many other facets. Uh, Bethany has all sorts of majors from um, business to communications to all the sciences, biology, chemistry, and so forth, as well as um, fine arts such as uh, um, theater, music, and uh, um, studio art. Um, it's a great place. Uh, I've, I went to here as a student and I loved all the years I went to school here. I majored in communications actually and uh, now have moved forward into working with the media arts program and the public access channels that Bethany also runs. Um, next up, let's talk about last week's match against the University of Minnesota. Uh, went to three games. Uh, game one uh, was a little back and forth, but Bethany Esports eventually pulled ahead and sealed the win. Uh, second game, uh, we gave University of Minnesota's mid laner Diana um, his signature champ, and he just kind of took us to town. We didn't ban it, and uh, it was a pretty short uh, game. All their champs were snowball -y and uh, snowballed all the way to victory pretty easy. Game three uh, was quite riveting. Bethany Esports was down um, by quite a uh, by a decent amount of gold, and um, pull that out. Uh, I want to give a major note to um, bot laner Wizardish, who uh, pulled out his Heimerdinger in Game 3 and uh, actually was um, quite vital in securing the win for uh, Bethany Esports uh, with a triple kill there at the end to win the game. Um, starting off Bethany's preseason, 1-0. This week we're against a very tough school in Grandview University, a well-established program down in Des Moines, Iowa. Um, we'll be looking to, I would say, keys to the game for this our um, Snowball, one, either one of our solo laners, um, specifically our mid laner Hollywood. I think uh, the bot matchup, it will be very difficult um, for, Beth for us, for Bethany Esports. So I'm looking to really get um, Hollywood ahead in lane. Uh, secondly, keep their roams down to a minimum. Uh, we don't need any foolish kills or deaths in, in lane. And lastly, uh, really look to um, push all uh, minor victories, whether that's objective takes or, um, or, or early kills or what have you. Uh, this has been the Bud Light pregame show. Order a pizza, pick up a Bud Light, plan your night, log on, and watch your favorite gamers in tonight's presentation. Um, Bud Light is a proud sponsor of Esports and Mankato. Uh, stay tuned for game one. Fight or flight. Everyone's wired to be one or the other. If you can't get away, could you get out of a situation? Learn to defend yourself with Cobb McGraw training at Southern Minnesota Martial Arts. The only Alpha Krav Maga certified instructors in Southern Minnesota. Krav Maga is self-defense. Find out more at Southern Minnesota Martial Arts. Located on Commerce Drive behind Subway, North Mankato. Or go online at smma.rocks. Southern Minnesota Martial Arts is a healthy environment. Operating with current COVID-19 sanitation and distancing standards and guidelines. Spend less on going out to eat, getting your oil changed, and so much more at the Big Deals online store. Head to RadioMankato.com and click on Big Deals. Start saving today, whether it's 10, 20, even 50% off, because these savings really are a big deal. You're not just one of thousands. You're not just a face in the crowd. You are unique. You're a name. You're a talent. You are an individual. Here, you're more than a student. Here, you're a friend. At Bethany, you are anything you set your mind to. A place where teachers know your name and friendships last a lifetime. Let Bethany Lutheran College become your family.
All right, jumping right into picks and bans here. Uh, Hollywood is the min leader for Bethany Esports. Um, blue side is Bethany Esports. Bethany Esports banned Nidalee, Shan, Hecarim, Camille, and Azir. Uh, Los Angeles being Grandview University down in Des Moines, Iowa. Banning Lucian, Ash, Twisted Fate, Aurelia, and Set against Bethany Esports. Uh, then they picked up Senna, Olaf, Tom Kench, Mordekaiser, LeBlanc. And Bethany Esports picked Lilia, Jin, Thresh, Renekton, and Oriana. All right, getting into game one here. Uh, Hanje on Renekton, Heezy on Lilia, Hollywood on Oriana, uh, known for his, um, his control mages. And then Wizardish on his Jin, who went 17 and 0 in game one against the University of Minnesota last week. And then Johnny on Thresh. On red side, Grandview University Learning Brain on Mordekaiser, Kothro on Olaf, Riversided on LeBlanc, uh, Zoblo on Senna, and Tisum on Tom Kench. Uh, pretty, looking at the minimap here, pretty standard five point all across the map. Everyone just playing it safe. Uh, Lilia, of course, dropping a ward and then quick backing for the sweeper. Um, by the time anything happens, the sweeper will be up and you'll be able to sweep away wards. Um, team strategy looking at both of these teams. Um, Bethany Esports really looking to get a couple picks. And um, with the uh, Jin W, Lilia, of course, her ultimate, that can have a five-man stun. Renekton really looking to do some uh, carnage there and with some AoE. And... Uh, Oriana, of course, also looking to do a lot of AoE damage. Then on the side of Grandview University, uh, really looking to um, catch some people out. Uh, Mordekaiser can take anyone out of the fight uh, if you don't have uh, QSS or Cleanse. And uh, also LeBlanc looking to really blow some out, blow some, some squishy targets up like Jin or Lilia. Uh, and then Senna, Tom Kench really makes sense in the bot lane. Um, Tom Kench can really protect Senna until late game when Senna really does damage. And we have a really early fight here with uh, uh, Hanjay and um, Learned Brain. Uh, Learned Brain getting the first blood here, level one against uh, Renekton Hanjay on, on, in the top lane. Fight bot lane as well. Uh, Johnny might have to blow flash here, and he does. Doesn't want to get stunned by the Tom Kench Q there with his Tom Kench's three stacks on his passive. Hanjay burning flash and Teleport to get back to top lane here. Uh, Mordekaiser backed, picked up a uh, Ruby Crystal for a little extra health and a uh, pair of pots there for some more sustain. Hanjay looking to dash in, do a little bit of damage. Renekton, one of the most early game champs in the game. Really looking to just harass. Uh, we'll really have to pay attention to Hanjay here. Uh, dying level one is Renekton. Will not be fun blowing both sums pre two and a half minutes. Um, that's something we'll really uh, keep an eye on here. Uh, meanwhile, a little bit of the dance going on in the mid lane, uh, even trade going on. Uh, looking at early CS, Hanche's actually up CS even after that. Uh, whole debacle of level one. Um, still looking to trade. Uh, Renekton is still very powerful early. A Ruby Crystal will not save you early uh, if you're against a good Renekton player. Uh, in the jungle, pretty standard. Lilia um, falling a little bit behind Olaf. It's kind of to be expected. Olaf is really looking to power farm and uh, and uh, really hit level six early and uh, maybe take some objectives early, like early Dragon or early Rift Herald. Um, bot lane, even CS cross, uh, doing a little dance, um, trading back and forth. Uh, notably, Senna did go Glacial for the slows. Uh, that can be devastating in late game, especially since she's an infinite scaling champ uh, whose range just infinitely scales with the more soul stacks you have. Uh, Hanche almost uh, killing uh, Mordekaiser there, actually an even trade back and forth. Both champs very low. Um, LeBlanc's passive popped by Oriana there in the mid lane. Uh, won't really matter too much at this point uh, as we don't expect any team fights happening yet, but I have seen crazier things happen. Uh, Oriana really uh, trading well against LeBlanc, uh, perfectly shielding herself. Hollywood is perfectly shielding himself against uh, any LeBlanc poke. Um, meanwhile, uh, Tom Kench, you're sitting in the bush. Just 
looking to lick Thresh's butt here, uh, get a little slow and little poke. Um, as both junglers are not in the area, um, Hook goes wide left there, missing Tom Kench. Uh, little fight breaking out here though. Exhaust uh, burned by the Tom Kench. Uh, nothing will really come of it though, as uh, both sides decide to just walk away. Looking back at the CS here though, uh, Hanche dying level one is up 32 to 15. He's over 15 CS up five minutes in. Uh, LeBlanc's passive once again burned. Uh, uh, Hanje and Renekton picking up the double Dorn's blade, uh, looking for a little bit more st sustain and the long sword for a little bit more damage. Um, mid laners here, both looking to get level six. Oh, there's a gank here from Heezy Top. Uh, not level six here, w will he get the spin? Yes, he does. Uh, kill going over to Lilia here early. Hanje is right back in this, even though he died level one. Uh, doing a great job of keeping his head in it. I'd give him tilt proof already uh, at the end of the game here. Um, notably, Hanje, known for his Yasuo all across North American solo queue, um, gets banned out quite frequently. Uh, actually role swapped last season to bot lane. Uh, and then such a team player role swapping again to top lane uh, as a uh, one of the two top laners Bethany Esports has in Hanje and um, Crabwalk. So uh, kudos to him for really taking one for the team and uh, role swapping to better his team as a whole. Uh, LeBlanc and Oriana looking to trade here. LeBlanc is level 6, or uh, excuse me, Oriana is level 6, but LeBlanc will get that off this wave, presumably, as the wave crashes into tower. Uh, again, Hanje is still up 20 CS here, and uh, and has an assist now under his belt. Um, and the bot lane, CS is even, just really looking to uh, get some items under the belt and uh, whenever the first dragon take is uh, to maybe get some early kills here as both lines are playing pretty passive um, Not much can really happen unless you get a really good thrush hook onto the Senna and Tom Kench isn't really paying attention to eat her and save her Again Johnny lands an easy uh, hook onto Tom Kench, but nothing will come of it because He is such a meaty catfish at all stages of the game Ugh. Looking again here, uh, both teams just looking to trade. Uh, Senna does throw out her snare, but uh, is lanterned away. Jin is lanterned away by Thresh. More trades here, top lane. Hanje will just walk it out. Uh, taking a quite a bit of damage, but uh, should be able to just uh, sustain until, unless a tower dive happens. Uh, playing here mid, LeBlanc and Ori really going at it. Both flash, uh, both will live. LeBlanc burned, or used her ignite, did not quite kill uh, Oriana through the shield. Meanwhile, Lilia taking the first dragon here, a Wind Drake. Uh, so we know that won't be a uh, Wind Drake won't be the soul here for ultra fast Oria Oriana um, ult. Um, really good uh, of Bethany Esports to make that uh, play where they knew Olaf was in their topside jungle um, away from the dragon, so that uh, Heezy on Bethany Esports could really. Uh, Safely take that dragon. Uh, Renekton, Hanje in the top lane, getting that uh, little bit of life still here, going for the ever so meta uh, Bork uh, first um, first item here in the top laners. As you saw there, Tom Kench, uh, doesn't matter um, if you get hooked as Senna, Tom Kench will just eat you. A, um, a good Tom Kench player will let his, I'm not saying to do this here, people who play Tom Kench, but if you let your ADC or your ADC gets hooked, uh, wait to eat the ADC until Thresh has taken his, um, has taken his, his hook, and that way uh, the ADC won't get um, flayed or any other damage to come through. Uh, it's a bit scary, uh, but if your ADC has faith in you, it's a better play to make because it's easier trades and Tom catches them in too deep, uh, especially if there's a gank coming too. Uh, just gives a couple extra Teemo units um, across the map to to uh, 
maybe get a uh, kill onto uh, Thresh, but to no avail. Nine and a half minutes in here. Uh, gold is dead even. Uh, Bethany Esports maybe has about 50, 100 gold up, but uh, nothing really to speak of at this point. No champ is really snowballing. Uh, CS, um, there's a 20 CS difference on the top lane in favor of Bethany Esports and a 20 CS uh, in favor, a differential in favor of, of the junglers. Uh, LeBlanc here getting caught by the Oriana ult. Gets a kill under Riversided. Uh, nice hook there by by Thresh and followed up by the Jin W and the Oriana all giving a kill over to uh, Hollywood here in the mid lane. As I was saying earlier, uh, 20 CS difference in the top lane in favor of Bethany Esports. Uh, about 30 in favor of uh, Jungle on uh, Grandview University. Tom Kench is caught out here. Thresh hook does land. Jin W also does land. A little bit of poke here. Again, he's so tanky. Um, Preemptive uh, heal burned by Wizardish there. I'm not sure if they thought Olof was coming over the wall. I don't think they had vision quite of him. Uh, but um, anyway, Flash was burned. A little bit of movement speed. Hanjay trading onto Learning Brain here in the top lane. Um, crushing the wave. Lilia is looking to maybe make a play, push him off. They're going for it. Uh, Luden, Zeko, Hanjay with the Flash. Uh, Renekton auto there. Uh, does get a kill onto Learning Brain in the top lane. Is 1-1-1 one, one, and one across the board, even though uh, had a very rough start level 1 uh, in the top lane there, uh, giving over first blood to Learning, Blade on Morde Learning Brain on Mordekaiser. So he is, uh, is very much tilt-proof in that uh, did not die. Uh, play bot lane here. Thresh does get the play onto uh, Senna. There's that Senna... Uh, uh, interaction with Tom Kench. You can still send alt as Tom Kench. Meanwhile, also a, plain, a play top lane here. Uh, Mordekaiser, Lilia is inside the death realm, but does get the flash. But Olaf flash smites right back, uh, getting a kill onto Lilia, finishing her off, uh, even though she was in the death realm. Um, uh, Wizardish does get the kill bot lane there as well. Oh, uh, exhaust burned by Tom Kench here, really looking to make a play. Uh, Jin does flash out of the way, and then we'll probably trade back now. Uh, opens up with the ult, uh, lands his first shot and gets the burn uh, onto Tom Kench for an easy kill there in the bot lane over to Wizardus on Jim. Already 2-0 and 1. Again, he was 17-0, uh, 17-0 uh, uh, game one against um, University of Minnesota last week. So uh, known for his Jin here in the first couple games, uh, first couple matches rather in uh, preseason here for Bethany Esports. Uh, second dragon will be coming up shortly here in about less than 30 seconds. Uh, junglers are moving bot side to possibly secure that. Um, Johnny support is looking to clear any vision from U Grandview University. Uh, getting a little deep here with the vision. Olaf is there. Uh, inevitably fall here. LeBlanc is roaming down. Let's see if they give the kill over to Blanc. Um, oh, Cuthrow takes it. On Olaf, not unable to give it over to the assassin. Uh, Bethany Sports just kind of says, okay, you won that. We got caught out. You can have this drag. Although Lilia, uh, he does try for it, but does not quite able to steal. Tom Kench ulting bot alone. Uh, no one took his, his ult teleport there. Uh, is going in deep. Wizardish is quite CC'd. Does get the W off into Tom Kench. Gets an early kill. Meanwhile, on the top lane, uh, Missed the uh, alt, Oriana alt there, but does uh, Hanji does get a kill over to on the Mordekaiser. Um, Wizardish does survive that uh, miraculously, although uh, Grandview University just backs off and uh, calls it a loss there on that one. Another day, they say. Uh, Senna is going the uh, tier build uh, that is very common now. Um, LeBlanc does have to burn Flash as the uh, ult comes through. Uh, Johnny also does line the hook, but doesn't have Lantern to give over to the Lilia to take over the wall. Uh, we'll really pay attention to uh, when the um, Man Immune, the evolved form of uh, the tier item, uh, comes through. I would guess about 21 minutes at this pace uh, with, her, with her amount of farm and uh, her CS. We'll, we'll keep track of that. 
Uh, meanwhile, uh, Olaf just ults away, breaks any CC from uh, Lilia or Thresh. Um, pretty short cooldown for an ultimate. Really looking to uh, just see if they can get any lucky plays here. In the mid lane, Bethany Esports really chipping away at the mid lane turret here. Uh, no, uh, only one turret has fallen there. Um, that is their second turret taken here as mid and top towers have been taken. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Wizard is just looking to get some solo farm, although is, he is getting uh, pressured here under the tower. Um, unable to land an auto before landing his W on Senna there for any tower damage. Meanwhile, Johnny, uh, his lane partner, is back in lane with him. Uh, just looking to farm up a little bit, pushing some waves, maybe make some roams here as uh, Oriana, a mid lane tower with Oriana, uh, has been cracked. Uh, both ADCs opting for Boots of Swiftness, just a little bit of movement speed. Again, Senna is an infinite scaling champ, uh, a little bit of a trade here. Uh, Riversided testing out his uh, damage abilities with a LeBlanc combo early, uh, with just the uh, couple parts of uh, Luden's Echo in his inventory. Uh, looking looking at the minimap here, top side, Hanjay's trying to back. Meanwhile, Olaf, LeBlanc, and Mordekaiser are looking to uh, maybe spot him out or get some vision down here uh, for the next Rift Herald. Meanwhile, Orniana pushes her lane. Uh, also looking to back here. Uh, should be pretty close to finishing Luden Zako. Uh, picked up uh, Merc Treads for the uh, Tenacity, trying to uh, not be CC'd as long. Um, Johnny Fish and Fruit with the rest hooks here. Uh, to no avail. Um, Senna's slows are quite uh, annoying at all stages of the game, uh, so that'd be a good reason to get Merc Treads there on Oriana. Uh, does finish the Luden's Echo and uh, has a Dark Seal with three stacks on it. Um, we'll look to see if uh, that gets up, uh, upgraded to a uh, Magi's any point in the game. Uh, Hanjay has finished his uh, Bork, his Blade of the Rune King, first item standard on most. Uh, top laners nowadays, and also picks up an Executioner's Calling just to cut any healing uh, from uh, Grandview University. Uh, bot Tower is taken. That is three towers to zero in favor of us, uh, Bethany Esports. Um, looking to put on some pressure, move up their vision line, uh, see if they can make any picks or uh, catch anyone out uh, to always make it a 4v5. Oriana does ult, but uh, does not get a kill onto LeBlanc. LeBlanc just Ws away. In the top lane, Olaf drops the Rift Herald here, trying to uh, get a tower back here. Uh, Hanje just leaves the tower, uh, as the, he knows that's a goner. Just looking to sit back and let the wave come to him. And uh, suck up some CS. Uh, Hanjay does go into uh, undo. Mordekaiser here gets some damage in. Looking to maybe take the Blast Plant, but uh, Hanjay just backs away, pops the backing animation. He knows he's dead. Hanjay is now on a killing spree after starting 0 and 1. He is now 3 1 and 1, uh, 18 minutes into the game. Uh, Bethany Esports, 18 minutes into the game, also has a 5,000 gold lead or 4,500 gold lead over Grandview University. Uh, looking to, again, push up their vintage in line, snowball this gold lead into, uh, into an easy win. Uh, at least that's their hope, uh, although they do have good um, vision here of the Olaf coming in. Looks like they'll easily be able to secure third Drake of the game, uh, as Infernal Drake will be your Infernal Soul here. Bethany Esports two dragons away from Infernal Soul, which gives extra damage. Uh, always much appreciated on a team that has lots of damage to begin with. Uh, shield comes through here. Oh, Johnny making a flank, lanterning the uh, Lilia back over, holding it. Great play by Johnny there. Uh, more of a fight breaks out. Uh, Death Realm is summoned by Mordekaiser onto Lilia. Uh, meanwhile, on the other side of the fight, Tom Kench is really taking in some damage. Uh, Jin is in a little deep, gets a W onto uh, Mordekaiser there, uh, is able to kill. Uh, or Thresh is killed there. Uh, Wizardist, meanwhile, is on a rampage, slaying Mordekaiser and Learning Brain. Uh, LeBlanc was topside that whole fight. She just backed, 
uh, pushed the wave in, it got a little bit, bit of damage onto uh, second tier top tower there. Uh, but a fight uh, going in favor of Bethany Esports there in uh, Red Side's Blue Jungle. A red side's bot side jungle. Um, again, noting uh, Senna's build picks up Edge of Night here and another long sword. Uh, really looking to stay protected in the late game. Senna's going to be one of is looking to stay alive to dish out as much DPS as she can uh, with a Edge of Night absorbing one spell as well as a Tom Kench uh, protecting uh, protecting her in her in his belly. Um, Senna's really looking to play it safe here, opting for the Edge of Night before a Duskblader Yomu's. Uh, both teams look just posturing mid here, pushing out waves, seeing who can get waves to go in their favor, uh, get a little bit more vision down before the next team fight here. Uh, 20 minutes in. Uh, Wizardus does take the lantern there from Johnny and Thresh. Uh, to safety, LeBlanc will not be able to assassinate the bot laner today. Oh, uh, Riverside really looking to go in here. Um, Flash W's forward, uh, does not get any kills. Uh, maybe a little preemptive there, a little uh, trigger happy from Riverside, but uh, let's uh, summon her spell down for Bethany Esports, uh, a really important one, especially uh, as a team fight will inevitably break out, break out here. Uh, Noting Senna, she doesn't quite have her man immune here 20 minute, 21 minutes into the game. Uh, I expect here in a, that to be finished any, uh, any second as 21 and a half minutes as how she started is pretty, uh, pretty standard, so we'll be watching that here. Tom Kench with Unsealed Spellbook does teleport back to lane. Um, does... Uh, just sweeping out vision here. Yep, with that, exa almost at exactly 21 and a half minutes, uh, just as I predicted, uh, Senna does finish her mana immune. Uh, gives a uh, more damage and mana to uh, a champ that can be quite mana hungry uh, in elongated team fights. Again, looking across the board here at the scoreboard, uh, Hanjay starting 0 1 is now 3 1 and 3. Uh, he's unstoppable there. Um, Lilia uh, getting the burn, trying to burn down the tanks in Tom Kench and uh, Mordekaiser there with the Leandres. 3-0-2 uh, on the Oriana as she's finished Ludens and uh, also looking to build Leandres for a little bit of extra burn and a little bit of extra cut on the uh, tanky champions. Meanwhile, Heezy here having to flash away, but the uh, deer's just too fast there after using uh, one of her abilities. Uh, continuing, uh, Wizardish on this gin again, 4 0 and 3, uh, has three completed items, 22 and a half minutes into the game, and uh, Johnny, 3 0 and 5, doing his darndest to give as much CC to his team to do all the damage, uh, is 0 3 and 5. Uh, on the side of Grandview University, oh, we got a little bit of fight here, uh, breaking out in the bot lane, doesn't look like anything will become of it. Uh, it's going to be really difficult to pop the uh, Senna Shield. Uh, your best bet here is with uh, Ludin's Echo on, um, from the Oriana or a Jin W with the long range to pop that Edge of Night Shield just so you can, uh, just so she doesn't mitigate any spells from Bethany Esports. <clears throat> Bit of a fight here as Jin opens up. Uh, looks like both teams will just walk away, not wanting a fight either way, uh, to really engage. Um, although, yeah, nothing will become of that play there. As uh, fourth, uh, yeah, fourth dragon of the game uh, is looking to be taken by Bethany Esports here. Although Grandview University does not easily want to give that up. Um, Root does land onto Olaf. Olaf does have to burn ult. Uh, just to stay alive and uh, try and steal the dragon, but to no avail. Uh, double uh, sleep onto the top laners here as Hanjay goes in. Johnny lands the hook on Thresh. Uh, Bethany Sports looking to move forward. Uh, pops the eat from Tom Kench. That's a long cooldown on a teammate. Uh, great play, picking up the dragon. One kill onto uh, 
Mordecai's there from Bethany Esports, 24 minutes into the game. Uh, five minutes from now, um, Bethany Esports, 29 minutes in, 29 and a minutes in, we'll be looking to pick up a, uh, a their uh, Infernal Soul point here. Oh, as Johnny tries to bait a little play here, but uh, Senna is able to dodge the damage. Meanwhile, Wizardish doing his darndest to uh, get as much damage as on the Senna. Uh, both teams are just content backing here and uh, picking up their next items. Uh, I really uh, am liking the itemization from Bethany Esports. Black Cleaver picked up by Hanjay. Uh, again, another uh, item that really helps cut through any tanks. And Mordecai's are all off and Tom Kench uh, on the side of uh, Grandview University. Uh, meanwhile, Grandview has the same idea, but just to a lesser extent at this point in the game. With uh, Mordekaiser with a pretty standard Leandre's Torment looking to burn. Uh, Hanjay and Mordekaiser here... Uh, and uh, Learning Brain doing a little bit of a 1v1 here. Uh, both teams are looking to just uh, do as much damage. Renekton damage really coming through here. Lilia and Olaf uh, both ganking uh, bot lane, trying to get a, a kill in here. Uh, <laughs> Lilia popping the stopwatch. Hanjay with the flash E on Renekton here to get the, uh, or I'm sorry, flash Q on Renekton to uh, really get the damage and uh, get a couple kills in. Uh, had his eyes on both prizes there. Meanwhile, Johnny in the mid lane gets a hook on LeBlanc. Uh, is, is able to pop the passive here. Bethany Esports teleports in. Flash, eat, uh, on the side of Grandview University. Uh, with that, Renekton teleports in, and it should be a relatively easy, uh, Baron start here, at least, from Bethany Esports. Looking to take a Baron 26 minutes into the game. Tom Kench uh, sweeping out, seeing if there's any vision. There's a ward over the pit, uh, guarded by an Oriana ball here with 3,000 health left on the Baron. Uh, should be an easy Baron take from Bethany Esports as they uh, look to uh, back, reset, get their items, push some waves out, extend their gold lead here from uh, 9,000 or uh, 8,000 gold to. Uh, and beyond. Uh, meanwhile, you saw Johnny there flash his uh, level or honor five emote uh, as uh, he's all over on campus, known as one of the nicest, most genuine people on campus. Uh, very nice and genuine in solo queue as well. Uh, oftentimes, typing out actual legitimate compliments to uh, his teammates and opponents. So his uh, honor five always earned basically as fast into. Uh, into each season as he possibly can uh, as a summoner. Um, just Johnny, really all around a great guy. Uh, meanwhile, a little uh, death bush looking to be set up by Grandview University. Uh, speaking of Johnny, uh, barely staying alive but dying here. Oriana did get a three person ult but uh, did not uh, become of anything. Meanwhile, Heezy really looking to extend his life here and getting a kill, staying alive in the death realm. Jin opens up, getting a kill onto Olaf, doing some damage onto uh, Senna and Tom Kench. Uh, meanwhile, Bethany Esports just looking to press their advantages here, keeping their lanes, lanes pushed, uh, trying to establish a vision line and uh, catch out any people, trying to just snowball this into a lead here. Uh, second tier tower mid lane is taken uh, as they crash uh, the next wave into inhibitor tower mid lane on the side of Grandview University. <laughs> LeBlanc not quite uh, able to stop Wizardish is back here on this gin, who is now 5-0-4, has four completed items and a stopwatch, just to stay alive for those extra few seconds, probably in a, either a death realm or uh, a uh, assassination attempt from LeBlanc. Uh, in about 30 seconds here, uh, uh, Soul Point will be coming up for the side of Bethany Esports. Grandview University really looking to delay that, not looking to give over any extra significant amount of damage over to Bethany uh, with their already uh, 9,000 gold lead, a pretty substantial lead, 29 minutes into the game. Uh, Dragon has spawned, um, half health, looks like it'll go over to uh, Red Side Grandview University. Uh, Learning Brain does stay alive with literally zero HP and is now killed by Oriana. Uh, meanwhile, um, Olaf looking to do damage. 
Hollywood has to blow the alt to stay alive, not wanting to let Olaf regen any health. Hook caught on to Tom Kench. Uh, Johnny has to flash out Lilia, uh, getting another kill. And meanwhile, uh, Senna has to flash over the wall. Jin looking for LeBlanc here, but he has to be careful. LeBlanc does do damage at this point in the game, but uh, with his uh, Storm Razor and Rapid Fire Cannon ready to go, easily kills LeBlanc in one auto attack. Uh, a four for one team fight going over in the favor of Bethany Sports. However, Grandview University does secure their second dragon of the game, uh, delaying Soul Point over to Bethany Esports. About a 10,000, 10,500 gold lead. Uh, Jin opens up, misses his first uh, shot, but uh, misses his first three, but lands the fourth and does quite a bit of damage, not able to play on the W. Uh, to get a little bit of CC and maybe a kill there with a uh, rapid fire cannon uh, proc up. Baron will be coming up in just a sh few moments. Uh, Scuttlecrab going over to Bethany Esports on the top side. Um, looking for a little bit of extra vision just in front of the pit to see if any um, Grandview University players lay any wards over the wall. Uh, looking to establish vision. Great vision uh, by Bethany Esports. Like that vision line, if you look at the mini map, uh, vision line just on the other side of the river. Uh, fight topside here. Uh, Bethany Esports looking to go in. Wizard is just godlike here on this gin, uh, getting a kill. Um, LeBlanc passive is procced. Uh, wrong LeBlanc <laughs> there, Wizard ish. That was the clone. Um, Fight in the bot side here. Mordekaiser does pop Death Realm. Uh, looking to. Hanja has to flash over the wall just to stay alive. Death Realm does end, uh, but Bethany Esports will take second tier top tier as well. Uh, as both uh, top laners in the bot lane there, barely living with uh, a sub 20% HP. Um, long cooldowns burned on both sides. Renekton's flash as well as. Uh, Zonia's Hourglass from Mordekaiser. Bethany Esports making their way uh, to the blue side. Oriana will uh, be handed over blue buff here um, on Hollywood just to uh, for the cooldown in mana. Um, Johnny fishing for a hook as he always does. Misses on the Blanc, a very slippery champion at uh, any stage of the game. Really hard to get any CC down on her, but if you do, uh, very squishy. One of the squishier champs late game in the game, uh, if you build her the standard way. Bethany Esports, like I said, really pushing up their vision line. Looking at the minimap once again, uh, completely dark on the opposite side of the river for uh, Grandview University. Um, Bethany just trying to push up their vision line, knowing where they are at all times. Uh, trying to starve them out of jungle camps and any farm that they can. Uh, really just looking to, um, at this point for Grandview University, just turtle this game, uh, try and maybe take a team fight or get a pick to reestablish vision on their side, uh, maybe take a Baron, but uh, looks like Bethany Esports is going to try and uh, do a Baron here with uh, Lily and Oriana, uh, as Grandview University has no idea. They definitely have a sense now since uh, two more players went towards... Uh, towards Baron. They are collapsing now. Uh, meanwhile, Hanja in the bot lane does have teleport. Senna ult does look to uh, give a little bit of vision. Uh, Baron does go over to uh, Bethany Esports. As the team fight breaks out, he's barely just staying alive here. Uh, is shut down by the Olaf. Two-man ultimate on from the Oriana. Hanja doing a lot of AoE damage here with this ulted up Renekton. Uh, four players for Bethany Esports. Jin opens up, but... Uh, LeBlanc, like I said, very slippery, slippery champ, uh, does just manage to get away. Uh, that was a four, uh, sorry, excuse me, a, uh, a three for one in favor of Bethany Esports with Baron buff yet, as they just picked up. Uh, looking to uh, shove this down um, Grandview University's throats. 20 seconds still on death timers here. Bethany Esports may be able to even take the game if they get a pick here. Uh, get a catch onto the Olaf here who has no alt. Uh, does get a kill there as well. Looking to push up minions. Um, wow, the block damage really coming through. Although an ace that is a Bud Light ace in favor of Bethany Esports as they look to uh, take uh, 
take uh, the second uh, Nexus turret here. Uh, open Nexus here. Both teams are very low. Andre does go down to the Mordekaiser here. Inevitably, yes, he does. Caught out by Wizardish, but he has GA, which will get popped here. Blows Flash. Uh, try to get a little bit closer to the Nexus. Let's see how much, if he can take the Nexus with that Jin damage. Does get a kill onto the uh, Tom Kench here. Uh, looking for a little bit of movement speed on the minion, but does not able to take it. Uh, the Granvi's Nexus is just below 50% HP. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Mordekaiser does teleport in as Lilia is trying to take uh, the dragon here. Uh, this is going to be very interesting. Lily does not take this very fast by herself. A uh, little game over emo pop, pro, uh, pop there by uh, Mordekaiser. Uh, Mordekaiser might have to blow Flash here if he has it. Nope, blows his uh, uh, Zoni's Hourglass instead. Um, he's looking to po uh, poke out Mordekaiser as much as possible, although Olaf is on the way. Uh, does have ult at this point. Probably will be ulting in here. Uh, Death Realmed out, so he's not able to take the uh, dragon. Uh, is slain by Learning Brain, but uh, does back out there because does not feel his life is worth Soul Point as uh, the dragons are now tied up 3-3. Three to three. Next dragon is Soul Point for either team here, 35 minutes into the game. Bethany Esports has their, also took, uh, minions took the bot tower there during all of that. Um, so there is an open inhibitor bot lane as well. Open Nexus, uh, Bethany Esports still has quite the advantage here. Uh, it's really looking like a major uphill battle here. 29 to 13 the kills, 35 minutes into the game. Uh, Bethany Esports just looking to get one more pick, get a 4v5 or even maybe get some sort of backdoor XPK play um, onto the Nexus to win game one here. But we'll see how that pans out here in the next few minutes. Uh, if I'm Grandview University, I'm, I'm kind of shaking in my boots. Uh, one wrong step for, from any of the players uh, will absolutely spell disaster and a loss uh, at the hands of Bethany Esports. Uh, with the inhibitor down and uh, Bethany Esports really looking to just ARAM this one out, really run it down mid, try and get a win as they are uh, significantly stronger, 13,000 gold up. Uh, Hook falls just short of Tom Kench there, who with this point at this point has uh, exhaust up uh, with his unsealed spellbook. Bethany Esports really looking to just do as much damage as they can here. Uh, Wizardish does get Death Realmed, is in with a 1v1 with the Mordekaiser, is getting just beat up. Uh, probably will fall 850 gold over to the Mordekaiser, although Hanje does slay the Olaf. Um, three two-man ult there from Oriana really turned that fight there. It was looking kind of bleak for Bethany Esports as they get a kill. Uh, that is a uh, four for two in favor of Bethany Esports here. Uh, looking like game one will go over to Bethany Esports 37 minutes into the game. Uh, Feezy popping his Zonias there at the end. Once again, game one going over to Bethany Esports, a 37 and a half minute long game. Stay tuned. After this short break, game two will be up. Bethany Esports versus Grandview University. You don't want to miss it. Fight or flight. Everyone's wired to be one or the other. If you can't get away, could you get out of a situation? Learn to defend yourself with Krav Maga training at Southern Minnesota Martial Arts. The only Alpha Krav Maga certified instructors in Southern Minnesota. Krav Maga is self-defense. Find out more at Southern Minnesota Martial Arts. Located on Commerce Drive behind Subway, North Mankato. Or go online at smma.rocks. Southern Minnesota Martial Arts is a healthy environment. Operating with current COVID-19 sanitation and distancing standards and guidelines.
Spend less on going out to eat, getting your oil changed, and so much more at the Big Deals online store. Head to RadioMankato.com and click on Big Deals. Start saving today, whether it's 10, 20, even 50% off, because these savings really are a big deal. You're not just one of thousands. You're not just a face in the crowd. You are unique. You're a name. You're a talent. You are an individual. Here, you're more than a student. Here, you're a friend. At Bethany, you are anything you set your mind to. A place where teachers know your name and friendships last a lifetime. Let Bethany Lutheran College become your family. Game 2, Picks and Bans, Grandview University banning Twisted Fate, Ash, Shen, Renekton, and Oriana against Bethany Esports. Uh, meanwhile, not Grandview University uh, is in Bethany Esports banning Nidalee, Lucian, Lilia, Azir, and that blank ban is Jax. Uh, Bethany Esports picking up Nunu, uh, Heezy's main champ. We have a substitution in um, support, mid and top. Uh, Support being Salamanders now on Support Pantheon, his main. Uh, Zach in the mid lane on Ziggs. Uh, Camille in the top lane uh, in Crabwalk, that is his, one of his mains. And then Wizardish uh, remaining uh, in the bot lane on Sivir. Meanwhile, Grandview University picking up Graves, Ezreal, Rakan, Melphite, and Syndra. Let's get into game two. All right, getting into game two here. Your Bethany Esports on red side. Crabwalk on his main, Camille. Uh, Heezy on his main, Nunu and Willop. Uh, Zach on Ziggs. Wizardus on Sivir. And Salamanders on his main, Support Pantheon. On blue side is Grandview University. Learning Brain on Melphite. Uh, Colthrow on Graves. Riverside on Syndra. Zobol on Ezreal. And Tisum on Rakan. A uh, couple seconds into the game here. Uh, pretty standard five point, although Graves is making a move in here on the top side river pixel brush. Uh, let's see. Uh, meanwhile, Rakan did sneak around in the back there, hanging out in the red buff. Let's see if there's a collapse here. Yep, Melphite and Graves are looking to collapse here. Uh, Nunu not knowing and taunting the other team ha will probably have to burn flash here if he doesn't die. Uh, does flash to safety mid lane here, uh, as uh, Rakan also burned um, Ignite onto Nunu, trying to get an early first blood here. Sub. Uh, 90 seconds. Uh, Zach here is backing. Um, I'm not sure if he took any damage or what happened there, but uh, Sweeper is popped by uh, Grandview University to see if any deep wards were placed when they made that invade. Uh, they do not see the ward in uh, Tribush, but uh, they wouldn't check that at this point. Uh, Nunu did not back here. Uh, Heezy did not back on this Nunu, as Nunu has insane sustain at all points of the game. Um, easily able to take blue buff here with a leash. Uh, with a Q with Chomp, getting some he uh, health back. Uh, maybe looking to make a play over as he's uh, using his snowball here, trying to go to Grace's... Uh, Chickens, as he probably started, uh, probably thought he started somewhere else, or thought he could 1v1. Meanwhile, Graves does get away. Not looking good for Heezy here, as he doesn't have flash, and Graves does. Gets a little bit of movement spear, but with Graves' ease, able to close the gap here. And first blood going over to Kothro on Graves in favor of Grandview University. Uh, Camille did get level 2 here, is able to... Uh, uh, before the Melphite is able to get a good trade in. Uh, meanwhile, Zach taking quite a bit of poke here from the Syndra in the mid lane. 
uh, will able to will be able to uh, sustain that out as he does have a, um, a cookie in a pot. Uh, graphs graphs with the undying taken by Camille, just looking for that little bit of extra sustain and poke here in the uh, resolve tree, the green tree. Uh, not really looking for any conquer or any uh, crazy electrocute builds or something that you might see that's kind of troll in competitive play. Uh, he's getting invaded here, is able to smite his red buff away and get away from uh, Kothro here. Meanwhile, Syndra is there. Oh man, not a good start from Heezy here as uh, he's down 0 and 2 three minutes into the game. Meanwhile, the bot lane. Um, trades going on. Wizard is looking to auto attack this Ezreal here pretty low as Ezreal will probably have to back. Ezreal also has to burn Flash here. Uh, nothing really traded in, in on Bethany Esports side for summoner spells uh, as uh, wi Wizardish and Salamander's both of their summoner spells up. Uh, Ezreal did back, but he does ta have Teleport here. Uh, not really able to pick up any... Uh, picks up a Mana Crystal as uh, part of either uh, uh, probably tier here. Uh, pretty standard build. Um, It'll be interesting to see if Cinder also picks up a tier or what her first item will be for a mana item as she's a pretty mana hungry champion. Um, if it'll be just the Ludens Echo build or a tier build here, we'll keep an eye on that on Riverside with his Syndra. Um, meanwhile, in the top lane, um, Camille just with her uh, second proc of her Q damage doing quite a bit to Melfight here even though he uh, uh, has already burned through all three uh, stacks of his Corrupting Potion. CS pretty even across the board here, uh, nothing too substantial uh, as last game with uh, Hanjay coming back. Uh, he was subbed out here in game two just to give some of the guys on the bench, Bethany Esports, some, uh, some, some play here, some play time. Uh, again, there's three. Oh, me <laughs> in the bot lane, Ezreal doesn't have Flash here, but he does have E, doesn't quite get away. Wizardish Auto does follow through the Arcane Shift and does get a kill here uh, to complement his 30 CS. Uh, Wizard, uh, I'm sorry, a crab walk getting pushed in here by the uh, Graves, allowing Malphite to back and get back to lane uh, with uh, losing as little CS as possible. Uh, good guy, uh, good guy jungler. Um, uh, Dragon, uh, first Dragon of the game is, uh, is Mountain Drake here. Uh, Syndra, yes, uh, if you know her build, Syndra did go tier uh, instead of a... Uh, Ludens Echo, so a little bit more of a scaling build here, but a little bit more mana. So that'll be two tier champions on the side of Grandview University. Uh, they're looking to really take this game late, uh, where they're able to blow up everyone with uh, uh, just the most insane wombo combo in Rakan and Melfight. Um, Bethany Esports five and a half minutes in, will take the, dra the first dragon of the game uncontested. Uh, Nunu, a very um, objective focused champion uh, with his smite consume. Uh, is able to, uh, in theory, secure objectives earlier and easier than uh, most other junglers in the game. In fact, probably all other junglers in the game, in my opinion. <clears throat> so, uh, as I was saying before, uh, Grandview University, um, very scaling team. They've got an insane wombo combo in Rakan, uh, Cinderstun, and Malphite uh, Ultimate. Um, if Bethany Esports... Uh, Groups up tight in a 5v5, it's, it'll be absolutely disaster. They do know this, though. They are very high ELO players uh, all across the board from High Diamond to Challenger. Um, same with Grandview University, all Masters and Challenger players, I believe, at this point in the season here uh, in mid-October. Uh, meanwhile, Bethany Esports uh, really looking to take objectives. A uh, lot of zoning prowess and tower take with Ziggs uh, and Sivir with Wave Clear. Uh, they can always keep their waves pushed, really looking to move up that vision line like they did from last game, uh, trying to get a catch out or just starve uh, any, any resources out of Grandview University. Uh, Camille can really dive in. Uh, Camille can actually uh, avoid almost all, um, all CC from Grandview University with her ultimate. She does become invulnerable for about a, uh, half a second and uh, can really that can really uh, wreak havoc. Let's see uh, later if... Uh, oh my goodness, one of the greatest flashes I've ever seen from Bethany Esports is Zach there. Avoiding the flash Melfight ult. Uh, 
that's that 18 ping that you have got at Bethany there. Uh, I don't think I would have been able to make that on my uh, 40 ping at home. Uh, insane flash, one of the best flashes I've ever seen. Uh, meanwhile, casually just walks over and has handed off blue buff to uh, sustain in lane here. Uh, insane play by Zach, wow. Uh, crazy that uh, is able to live here. Probably trying to feed an early, uh, relatively early kill over to Syndra. Uh, looking to uh, close that um, scaling gap between uh, uh, Ziggs and uh, Syndra here. As again, Cinder went tier instead of a Luden's Echo build. I'm unfamiliar with what the pretty meta um, build is. If it is tier, or if uh, Riverside had really just is opting for a tier for the more mana, for a, uh, for more mana and more burn. In the top side here is a little fight going on. Uh, also in the bot lane, there's a fight going on. Uh, Wizardish and uh, Salamander is getting a kill onto uh, uh, Zebol. Meanwhile, top lane, uh, both kills going over to. Uh, Grandview University, uh, four kills to two. Uh, Grandview is Grandview University is up. Eight and a half minutes into the game, uh, gold is relatively even as uh, the CS differential and the dragon uh, take uh, evens out the gold pretty close here. Uh, it actually might swing in the favor of Bethany Esports here with this uh, some plates being taken over. Um, meanwhile, everyone gets back to lane. Uh, notably. Um, Camille is going Sheen, is not opting for any uh, cheeky Blade of the Rune King meta build. Uh, great call by uh, Crabwalk as he, uh, as a uh, Blade of the Rune King won't really save you here in an extended team fight. He's really looking to just get in there with some movement speed, <clears throat> avoid any damage, and blow someone up with, or with his true damage from his Q in the late game. Uh, meanwhile, Wizardus, once again in this early game, Two kills, zero deaths, sub 10 minutes. Must feel really good in a competitive match. Uh, as he's really known for uh, staying alive in the early game and uh, really uh, taking, uh, taking his advantages uh, early and trying not to give over any resources to the enemy team. Graves is backing. Meanwhile, Nunu sneaks uh, his Krugs. Uh, here's uh, right there that uh, Ziggs W. Um, Ziggs takes towers with about 20% HP, so Bethany Esports with the Nunu, uh, the Nunu objective take on Baron and Dragons, uh, the Silver Wave Clear and Ziggs Wave Clear really allowing to take uh, towers pretty easily as well. So uh, strategy from Bethany Esports is um, push up, get some vision down, take some towers, press your small advantages and snowball that into a lead over the course of uh, 25 to 35 or 45 minutes. Meanwhile, again, on the side of Grandview University, they're really looking to just, they're an all-in team with a Rakan, with a Melfight, with Syndra Stuns, Graves and Ezreal damage late. Really looking to just blow people up late game uh, not and uh, either get a clean ace or uh, a couple picks onto Bethany Esports to just always have uh, numbers in their advantage. Bethany Esports just has to be really mindful not to group up, not to make any 50-50 uh, Baron plays as uh, getting caught in a pit is very scary against Grandview University's team. Uh, Grandview here looking to uh, take a dragon. Bethany Esports seems totally consent with not even trying to challenge that. They're moving topside maybe to get the Rift Herald or just to uh, establish some vision. Meanwhile, uh, Rakan, there you saw the whole combo or part of it. Rakan, knock up in his W, mill fight alt, Syndra stun and Syndra ult uh, can just blow any any champion up regardless of their amount of health in the late game. Um, they're already starting to do it pretty, pretty early, uh, 11 minutes into the game. Meanwhile, Crabwalk uh, <laughs> perfectly follows the arcane shift with his ult, dodging the Ezreal ult and uh, getting a, Q, a kill here. Uh, relatively easy onto Zoblo here on Ezreal from Grandview University. Grandview here though, uh, taking uh, Rift Herald uh, walks away uh, in the top lane with Wizardish, not getting ulted by any uh, summoners over on Grandview University side. Oh, that was a great play there. A great example from uh, Crabwalk, which you can really do with Camille. You can, with her ultimate, staying vulnerable and following any chance no matter what happens to them uh, for half a second. If you time that perfectly, uh, it can really. Uh, just really mess with your uh, with your mental there on um, on the opposing team. Uh, late game, it's going to be really important that he avoids all sorts of things. 
um, damage from Graves and the Graves Alt and Graves Q and Grave Autos, uh, Melfight Alt with his knockup and Cinder Stun as well. But if he can get up into the back line here and uh, assassinate someone, um, oh, I feel so bad for Zach trying to get the knockback onto Salamanders with his stun, but he was stunned himself, so he was unable to proc his own uh, satchel charge there. Uh, I thought he was trying to do, but a uh, little bit of a frustrating play. Uh, looking at the scoreboard, um, pretty standard farm all across the board, uh, which is also reflected in uh, the gold. Even though Bethany Sports is down two kills, uh, they are still up about 300 uh, gold. Um, uh, Salamander is an interesting predicament here. It's caught over the wall. Uh, does have flash, but is trying to probably save here, here until other teammates can get over, but is unable to. Uh, just taken out by the Cinder Stun there. Uh, ended up burning Flash right into the Cinder Stun and uh, giving Cinder. Uh, I believe Cinder got the kill there. Uh, Cinder kill. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Nunu bla holding all again. I would be so tilted if I was learning Brain here. <laughs> Just getting avoided with Flash. Meanwhile, Bethany uh, uh, Hizzy does fall here, but Bethany Esports does come in with the ult. Uh, Anders and Salamanders and Wizardish really just doing damage here, trying to clean up as much as they can. Melfight having to blow ult, but look who's on the other side of Tribrush. It's Zach. Zach picks up that kill. His first kill of the game here. Uh, he also is going a tier build here. Um, so, a lot of scaling from both sides, although it doesn't matter as much on Ziggs as his satchel charge does come in very handy in taking towers here. Um, as Bethany Sports, speaking of taking towers, will also probably take top tower here, uh, or most of it at least, um, in that they can clear the wave and do quite a bit of damage with double AD champs. Uh, they do take the tower there. Pantheon does uh, use the shield to mitigate most of that damage. Meanwhile, uh, Nunu just rolling through with a slime ball. Uh, Zach, ooh, falling right into the Rakan W with using his own satchel charge, but uh, nothing will come of that. They'll both walk away unscathed. Wizardish here, 3 0 oh, 2, has a Essence Reaver and another BS Sword, completed boots. Uh, just again, his early game, just staying alive, is just uh, unmatched by uh, most other collegiate players. Uh, Crabwalk here, caught in a bit of a predicament, followed by the uh, Melfite, Graves, and Cinderella Roams. Let's see if he can make any plays here with his ultimate. Does uh, avoid some of the damage here and uses it to get away. Although a uh, a Graves ult and a Melfight ult will uh, finish him off here in the bot lane. Uh, meanwhile, Bethany Esports really pushing mid lane here. Uh, zoning off the Rakan here, not much he can do. Again, here will come the uh, clutch uh, Zig Satchel blowing up with 20% HP. Uh, play being made bot lane here. Salamander is absorbing most of the damage with his shield. Um, Rift Herald was spawned bot lane there by the Melfite, uh, will be taking that tower. Um, but Bethany Esports is totally content with that play, um, getting quite a bit of damage down and uh, looking to take a third dragon of the game here, which will be spawning here shortly, as uh, Grandview University did have to back off. Crabwalk did slay the uh, Rift Herald there, won't get a second charge off under the second tier turret. Uh, Bethany Esports here easily picks up third dragon of the game. Which second game in a row here will be an Infernal Drake just as the first game. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Zach being able to pick up blue buff, <laughs> AP, Ziggs, and the mid lane loves his blue buffs, loves his mana, especially with the tier. Just unlimited mana for days. Can, spell, uh, can spam his Q on relatively short cooldown uh, to get a lot of poke and damage in during team fights. Again. Bethany Esports is, uh, I have to commend them on their vision, uh, on our vision here. If you look relatively dark on the side of Grandview University past the river, um, Bethany Esports even has some deep boards there near uh, bot second to your turret to see, uh, to let uh, Crabwalk know if there's any roams coming as he's really just keeping, to, uh, looking to keep uh, the waves pushed, kind of get a split push going here. Does not have teleport to get out or get back in, but uh, with the safe vision there from Bethany Esports, 
uh, can easily uh, keep pressure there safely uh, without having to switch too much from other champs. There he saw Cinder walking through, so he's backing off just a little bit, trying to uh, not die to any cheeky ganks. Uh, is just looking to, again, keep the waves pushed up, uh, slowly choke out uh, uh, Grandview University as he does get quite a bit of damage, kind of limit testing there, as Crablock would say, uh, IRL, uh, onto the Ezreal damage, just to see how much damage he does with his Q. Umbral Glaive really coming in clutch there for Salamanders as he only has to auto once uh, uh, to any wards. Loves that item on Pantheon, loves playing Pantheon support. It's it's his main. Um, the faster you can clear out of vision in uh, intense fights or intense setups to fights, the faster, uh, the better that'll be. A uh, huge uh, Rakan ult. There's the Wombo combo I was talking about from Grandview University. Easily slaying two and getting quite a bit of damage onto a third. Meanwhile, Wizard is trying to get as many autos in on this tanky uh, Melfight already, who has uh, went first item Bramble's Vest into Ninja Tabbies into Randuin's Omen, really trying to mitigate any crits, any crit chance from uh, the Sivir uh, with Wizardish playing her. Uh, playing Sivir, rather. Um, must feel really bad as an ADC. To uh, just get straight targeted by uh, uh, by a Melfite, trying to mitigate the damage. Uh, T some W's to, to block the damage here. Uh, Bethany Esports ulting in with the Pantheon. Nunu comes in as well with the ult. Uh, they slay uh, Grandview University slaying the uh, Rift Herald, but uh, unable to pick it up here. Uh, let's see if Melfite's able to flash over the wall and get it. Oh, it'll be close. Uh, Crabwalk looking to stop it. Oh. Learning Brain barely picks it up before his death. Bethany Sports doing their darndest to not let the Rift Herald get picked up. Meanwhile, Syndra uh, doing a little bit of poke here on two Salamanders, uh, who's got about a quarter HP but will live. Uh, Grabwalk threatening with the uh, sling shot there, the hook shot from, Grab uh, from Camille, but uh, decides not to take it. Again, uh, great rotations there right after that fight. Uh, sending someone to Dragon to get uh, a little bit of vision on the bot side and uh, sending Ziggs topside to easily take uh, uh, or get a, a, quite a bit of damage onto uh, top tier second turret. A uh, little bit of a spectating uh, bug there. As you can see, Melfight uh, did not actually disconnect from the game. Um, is running bot lane in this still in the game here. 20 minutes into the game. Baron has just spawned. Bethany Esports is up three and a half thousand gold. Four towers to two and down one kill. Uh, nine to ten. Crabwalk here, caught in a little bit of a pickle here. Getting uh, surrounded uh, with three coming to gank him or kill him. He does have double buffs. It does get, oh, flat. That is the power of Camille that I was talking about. Gets a kill. Uh, we'll probably not be able to live here. Nope, gives over 500 gold bounty to Malphite. Uh, um, Nunu uh, and Sivir clean up the kill. Meanwhile, Nunu and Sivir looking to uh, just say, hey guys, you can handle this. Although Malphite is doing a lot of damage to uh, Pantheon here. Uh, Nunu does roam over here with full health, uh, looking to finish off this Malphite here, who will be caught out after that team fight. But uh, as I was saying, that is the power of Camille with Flash, uh, Hookshot, and, um, and her ult up, avoiding all sorts of damage and even returning a kill on what was a, a doomed fight. Um, Wizard is trying to catch up some uh, the Ezreal here on his control ward. Ezreal lays his own control ward. Uh, Wizard is, does have to burn uh, heal there. Uh, although Bethany Esports is taking uh, Dragon, that is their third Dragon, putting them in. Uh, contention for soul point here, fourth dragon of the game coming up in uh, uh, five minutes here at uh, 26 and a half minutes. Um, but well played. We've seen three great flash plays from Bethany Esports here. One on Zach surviving the Melfite, flash Melfite ulti. Um, one uh, in the top lane near uh, second tier top tower from the Nunu. Uh, Heezy on his Nunu flashing a Melfite ulti. And then also uh, flash E... Uh, alt from Camille here from Crabwalk in the bot lane. Uh, surviving as long as he possibly can, almost living through that entire fight, returning a kill, but uh, unfortunately giving a gold bounty over to the Melfite here, who has, uh, by the way, just picked up a, uh, um, 
a mana item here. Uh, let's see if that goes into uh, Adaptive Helm or Rod of Ages. It's a little late in the game here for Rod of Ages. Usually that's the first item you usually pick up uh, on the side of Bethany Esports. Or, I'm sorry, on the side of Grandview University. Ezreal did go the Frozen Gauntlet build, looking to, not so much for the damage, but for the utility and the slows, as uh, if they get the Wombo combo. Meanwhile, in the bot lane, uh, uh, Crab Lock and Salamanders do uh, get the stun here. Uh, Salamanders does slay Syndra, picking, picking up a bounty of his own. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, uh, Bethany Esports is pretty content uh, with what's all going on. They got the waves pushed, the vision line pushed up. Meanwhile, Crab Walk in the bot lane, if you look at the mini map, is taking inhibitor turret. Uh, does have teleport coming up. Uh, Grandview does have to spawn the Rift Herald just because it was running out of time. Uh, see if they can push it. Meanwhile, Bethany has made made a rotation over to Baron. Uh, 8,000 health uh, here. Crabwalk does have uh, teleport. Meanwhile, uh, Rakan does look to get an ult. Uh, Bethany Esports does back off. Just totally content with pushing in um, bot lane here. Syndra did back to catch that wave and to scare off Crabwalk. Uh, meanwhile, Salamanders does stun to uh, jump stun to kill the Herald and uh, get a little bit of a distance here. Uh, his slain, wow, that was quite a bit of damage there from the Graves ult, uh, at this point in the game. Um, but, uh, inhibitor turret was, or inhibitor was taken by Crabwalk in the bot lane there. Uh, did save his teleport, um, is gonna catch out Graves here, uh, more than likely. Oh, just a bit of damage. Graves does have to flash over and the Ziggs bomb does miss, living with sub 100 HP. Uh, one hit point away from anyone. Uh, feels bad, man. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, a little bit of a skirmish going on here. Both teams just content to walk away. Uh, nothing to really come of that. Uh, super minions are pushing in the bot wave here. Uh, not where all the waves are here on the minimap. Uh, bot, uh, top wave is pushed in. Bot wave is pushing in continuously as Ezreal has to uh, rotate over to catch that to quit that from going into their base and giving even more of uh, Bethany Esports advantage, pushing up their vision line. Uh, looking at the scoreboard, items coming through, Wizardish 405 has an IE, uh, Essence Reaper, and another Zeal with it completed boots. Uh, Camille opting for the Ravenous Hydra, that is the Titanic, that is the Tiamat that gives um, lifesteal, meanwhile, by Baron Pit here, a little bit of a fight breaking out. Nunu uh, just getting to consume off, healing up a little bit and walking away. Um, there is a Bramble Vest on the Melfight trying to mitigate as much healing as, as possible from the Nunu. Uh, and if anyone else gets lifesteal here uh, on the side of Bethany Esports as the game goes on later. Uh, can be kind of an annoyance here, uh, especially a mid-game here, uh, about the point where we are. Where... Uh, Anything can still happen on the on the on the tip of a hat, but uh, both teams uh, just uh, really looking to stabilize here. Meanwhile, Bethany Esports feeling pretty confident going through the Baron. There is pings coming out from the side of Grandview uh, that they don't know if they're doing Baron or not. Uh, Syndra is teleporting in near the Baron pit. Bethany Esports will be able to pick up the Baron here. Uh, Crabwalk going in under the Melfight, avoiding any damage. Sivir taking a lot of damage uh, from the Melfight is picked out. Uh, meanwhile, Bethany Esports is grouping up after all the ultimates are blown off, feeling kind of confident that they can group up and really team fight. Zack and uh, Zebo going at it, Zebo barely edging out. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Salamanders here ulting, looking to find the Ezreal, just kills him with the ulti alone. <laughs> uh, always feels good on a Pantheon. Um, that is a uh, Bud Light Ace here coming out from Bethany Esports as three members live, and uh, all five died on the side of Grandview University. Uh, Bethany with the wave pushed, a bot lane and mid lane looking to take another inhibitor here in the mid lane with 10 seconds still left up on uh, Melfite and Syndra. Uh, Bethany Esports will be content here to walk away. Meanwhile, Nunu has started. Uh, Infernal Soul Point should be just the freest dragon of his life as uh, Grandview University is just getting up here from their, uh, from their death timers. Uh, again, Infernal Drake, second Infernal Drake of this match. Uh, Going over uh, Infernal Soul, Infernal Drakes going over to Bethany Esports, same as game one. Uh, as then uh, Infernal Infernal Soul, uh, both games here. 
Uh, Bethany Esports looking to back, pick up another item. Ziggs has picked up his death cap, finished his tier uh, probably about six minutes ago. Didn't quite catch when that came through. Uh, death Dance being completed for Camille. And uh, Edge of Night also for Pantheon, just trying to uh, sustain any uh, a uh, any initial damage, initial burst here coming probably from the Cinderella Graves late. Uh, meanwhile, Nunu looking to get some vision in. Uh, ult coming in from Rakan, a lot of going through. He's, he is taking quite a bit of damage, but Nunu is a tanky boy. Uh, Melfight ult coming through as well. Uh, gets his uh, shield off with his ult, gets a consume. Uh, has to flash out as well. Uh, Bethany Esports here looking to follow up. Camille with Crabwalk at the flank. Crabwalk is so good at finding those flank angles. Uh, Bethany Esports here slaying both Melfight and Graves 28 minutes into the game with Infernal Soul and Baron buff. Two and Hibs down. Uh, Bethany Esports may look to end here. Um, let's see if they can quite pull it off, if they get another kill or two, uh, or if they're just going to walk in the waves, push, uh, look to reset, and then make one final push here after that. Looks like they are content, though, uh, really pushing in these waves. No one has backed yet, getting a little bit of a poke in. Uh, Crabwalk going in onto the Rakan here, able to slay Rakan. Nunu being able to slay uh, Syndra there with, uh, with Zach cleaning up the kill. That is game two. That is the match going over to Bethany Esports. 2-0 uh, here in the second week of our preseason. Stay tuned here for the post-game wrap-up. All right, that's all for us tonight here, folks. Uh, this little post-game segment brought to you by Bud Light. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Bethany Esports has swept Grandview University 2-0 here in this best of three, uh, going 2-0 in our little preseason here, defeating University of Minnesota last week. I'm Seth Grabo, coordinator of Bethany Esports Media, and uh, have a good night. Fight or flight. Everyone's wired to be one or the other. If you can't get away, could you get out of a situation? Learn to defend yourself with Krav Maga training at Southern Minnesota Martial Arts. The only Alpha Krav Maga certified instructors in Southern Minnesota. Krav Maga is self-defense. Find out more at Southern Minnesota Martial Arts. Located on Commerce Drive behind Subway, North Mankato. Or go online at smma.rocks. Southern Minnesota Martial Arts is a healthy environment. Operating with current COVID-19 sanitation and distancing standards and guidelines. Spend less on going out to eat, getting your oil changed, and so much more at the Big Deals online store. Head to RadioMankato.com and click on Big Deals. Start saving today, whether it's 10, 20, even 50% off, because these savings really are a big deal. You're not just one of thousands. You're not just a face in the crowd. You are unique. You're a name. You're a talent. You are an individual. Here, you're more than a student. Here, you're a friend. At Bethany, you are anything you set your mind to. A place where teachers know your name and friendships last a lifetime. Let Bethany Lutheran College become your family.